Pinan Sandan. Uh, in kata, when we are training, we are always talking about our embassy, our start and finish point, how to end up in the exact same point. Pinan Sandan really, really does challenge that ability. However, there is a way to do it. You just have to understand the footwork that's involved in the kata. As you move up in rank and you get better at your kata, you are going to develop this natural forward motion, this yurashi, which generates power. Don't worry about that until you know the kata and can do the kata technically correct. And once you got the technical side of it down, we add in the power and the motion to it as well. This is Pinan Sandan. We're going to do it just like we've done with Shodan and Nidan facing this direction. Hopefully these are helping you. I, I, I was told that this is a unique way of doing it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Just because I want you guys to get the best instruction that you possibly can via video. Uh, however, you know, karate has to be learned in the dojo. You know, I know there's people out there claiming, hey, we can do virtual classes, we're going to promote you, we're going to do this. Sorry, that doesn't exist. Not in a real karate school, not in a real dojo, and I don't care what they think. I've been doing karate for 42 years. Some of them have been doing it longer than me that are saying it. I don't care. Okay. So this is Pinan Sandan with virtual walkthrough. I'm going to start here. You face your television. You can stand to the side or the back of me. Right? Pinan Sandan. Left leg out, yoink position. We're going to shift, execute a middle block and a cat stance. Toes together, block and block. Shift to your right, cat stance middle block. We're going to repeat. Toes together. One and two. We're going to step our right leg back. Cat stance to the center. Middle block. Step into a front stance and coso dash and nukete. Kia. You're going to pull the hand back and away. Shift your weight to a namadach and shoot the hand down to the back of the thigh. Looking over your right shoulder. Pivot on your right leg all the way around into a cat stance hammer fist. Step in and punch kia. You're going to step your right leg forward, turn so that your toes are together, heels are together, strike down and lift up, putting your hands on your hips uh, like Dennis the Menace. Ha, I probably just aged myself with that one, didn't I? We're going to step our right leg forward into a shiko dodge, roll the shoulder, execute a back knuckle, pull back down, shift forward, left leg, shiko dodge, roll the shoulder, Back knuckle, back down. Shift forward. Shiko, roll. Leave the hand up this time when you're striking with the back knuckle. Natural standing posture, punch, kiai. You're going to step straight in, pivot on the heel to a shiko dash. Punch, chambering left hand. Punch behind the head, looking to your left. Look to your right. Slide over. Punch, just like we did on the other side. And then we're going to slide back to yoi. Left leg in, and right, and yoi. And that's Pinan Sanda. Uh, when I first started studying Shonen or Shonen Khan, I was not a big fan of Pinan Sanda. Uh, mostly because uh, having a Shotokan background and a Taekwondo background, we did a kata that was very close to this. Uh, the Palge kata, Palge Samcheng, is very close to this. I was uh, never a fan of that kata. After learning the bunkai to this kata and some of the other things that are involved in this kata, I've become a very big fan of this kata. I actually enjoy this kata. It's a very good one. Let's do that again. We'll do it just like we do in the dojo. I'll run the kata. I'll say hep, and you follow along. This is pinan sandan. Right? Pinan sandan. Yoi. Up. Up.
and right. And that's Pinan Sana. Uh, good kata, a lot of dynamics involved with it. Let's talk Shiko. Shiko Dach. This is Kiba Dach. You notice how my knees point forward? I can have my knees out, but my feet are forward. Shiko are feet on a 45. And heels and knees lined up, setting down comfortably. Now, don't overstate your Shiko. Set comfortably where you're balanced. Very important. Um, get that Shiko down. I can't, can't stress that enough. That stance is used in self-defense, it's used in throwing, it's used in countering throws, it's used in all kinds of stuff. It's even utilized to move quickly. So work on that Shiko in your peanut sauna. We'll talk to you guys later.